Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I'm going to be doing a review for the long-awaited, and this is a true review, unlike most of these paid-for yuppies, for the Note 20 Ultra 5G. Now we're going to talk about this, I'm going to first do the unboxing, then I'm going to tell you all about it, and then I'm going to, in another segment, I'm going to cover photos, videos, and everything like that that's going to come a week after, only because I really want to get uh, you know my hands on it. A lot of people release videos just for the sake of videos, and they just pretty much go and piggyback off another uh you know this is the truth channel here so we're gonna give it all we can we're gonna put this thing through the cycle wait a week and then do it and uh let you guys know so let's get right into it Okay guys, so as you can see right here, Note, right here, Ultra 5G. Okay, Note 20 Ultra 5G. So we're gonna open this baby up right here. Nice little uh, thing. Ah, okay, so there's something stuck here in the top. There you go, so it's this thing, the key, you know, all the, oh wow. Okay, so very little literature. Usually it has a lot, but who cares? Like who reads this anyway? And uh, right here, is the phone now? I had a screen protector put on this baby already from the T-Mobile store, and now you're gonna see exactly what it is. As obviously we don't get sent stuff, and we don't. This channel, we all pay for it with our own money. I work three jobs to make this happen. We're not a paid-for reviewer who gets a bunch of samples sent to them and tell you something's good when it's not. It comes with this baby right here with a charger, as you can see with a USB-C input. And I was looking for it, and then it just pops up over here. And guess what, guys? You're not going to get the earphones, the famous earphones that are very awesome. You're not going to get it with this. You're going to get it in the United States. You're going to get it with the, you know, anywhere in Europe and stuff like that. Because they have a less superior uh, chip. So I guess that's how they, they just gave them extra stuff. Uh, in our situation, you know, that just, uh, you know, you're not getting really anything with it. So, you know, we're going to do a review on the galaxy buds so definitely stay tuned for that i'm going to tell you all about it but anyways it just comes with a charger cable i really don't think it comes with anything else Let's see it comes with this little thing here i don't know what this is I, I think it's nothing yeah it's really nothing um yeah really I, it doesn't come with anything now i am going to say this the regular ultra uh the regular note 20 does not uh come with expandable storage from what i heard uh, but this, all this thing includes is just this and this and the phone itself and that's about it. Uh, now as you can see, just want to show you guys right here, the camera sticks out like freaking nuts, okay? And we're going to get into that in about two seconds. And guys, just wanted to add this over here, okay? Uh, they also made this very left hand uh, friendly, which I mean, I, literally this phone was meant for left-handers so you could see it moved right into here the uh, the S Pen from here it moved to here also the buttons are now all the way here where on this side you got none okay so even though on the left side here you know when we wanted to take a picture it's always the right hand we're going here so this phone was designed I'm not kidding for the left-handed people and you know why you know what why not right I mean uh, Nobody ever accommodates the left-handed people, and I know my mom's left-handed. She would really love this, but uh, for us people with the right hand, that's something now that we're going to have to, uh, you know, uh, to kind of deal with. So just keep that in mind. So right away, we're going to go into the specs of things, and I'm going to tell you what I like, what I dislike, uh, and we're going to do a video. Like I said, I'm going to go out there, take pictures, take photos, videos, and everything, so it's not going to be over right now, but I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the specs, and also the whys, and also why I already don't like some things here. Okay, so for example, it runs Android 10. It has... Uh, the memory of a uh, 128 or 512 you can get. Uh, to be honest, the 128 is more affordable than paying a jacked up price. And then, uh, like I showed you guys, uh, which I'm going to show you, the one terabyte actually works on this thing. So you get a one terabyte card, you just put it in there, and you get an additional one uh, terabyte in addition to the 128. So that's really awesome right there. Of course, if you have the extra money to cough it up, go ahead and go with the 512. It runs uh, Snapdragon 86, uh, 865 Plus. Uh, it has uh, 
what is it, a CPU, 1.8 gigahertz, uh, cryo, uh, 585 quad core, and 2.42 gigahertz cryo, 585 triple core, and 3 gigahertz cryo, 585 single core. Uh, so that's uh, basically breaking it down. The GPU is Adreno 655, I'm oh, sorry, 650. Uh, the, uh, obviously 128 is the, uh, uh, and then the memory of course is 12 gigabytes. Uh, the native resolution is 1440 by, uh, 3,088. Uh, now here's the, here's the thing that a lot of people are going to probably complain about. It's, uh, the 120 Hertz, the famous 120 Hertz that looks really great and whatever. I'm going to tell you on a small screen, it doesn't really matter, but you know, you do really kind of notice the buttery smoothness of the 128, but that only works on full HD resolution, which is pretty disappointing because you have other companies that still allow the quad HD to go at 120. But again, it doesn't really matter. Believe me, you're not going to really care. And then on 60, it's going to go to 60 Hertz on everything else, basically. So now I'm going to tell you, um, let me first run through this. Uh, the display colors is 16 million. Uh, pixel density is 496 PPI, and it's an OLED uh, display. Okay, so now the thing does not come with those beautiful, what was it, X, X, uh, A, G, K, something, whatever, uh, uh, you know, yeah, ear, uh, earphones. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't come with that, but then people are, a bit, uh, you know, telling me, well, Lior, it's not fair. European market, they, you know, the European market includes that and it includes all kinds of nice little things to dress it up to make it sellable you know why it's not marketable really because they're still using an inferior chip to this one okay and because of that they needed to butter it up and that's why they gave them a little freebie now the other note uh, that is not the ultra from what i understand is a thousand dollars i mean really a thousand bucks and they give you no upgradable storage from what I heard, from what I saw also. So I'm going to say this, guys. That is totally not worth it. I give it a 2 out of 10 for just that, for even attempting to sell. But, but you know what? I think it's a smart idea what they did because they didn't do it for marketing. Uh, well, they did it for marketing reasons to market the big one, the Ultra. So they did that purposely so you guys will pay and cough up more money because who's going to want to pay $1,000 for something that can't be upgraded that's basically an iPhone just, you know, a different type of iPhone. Anyways, so the thing, <laughs> the thing is, that's what I just don't get about it. Uh, why they did that, but because that's extra money to waste on uh, a different uh, model and all of that stuff. I just, I don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So, you know, whatever. So that, that's why they're giving uh, the, you know, the most of the freebies out in the European market, also because they have an inferior thing. Why they didn't include it here, I have no idea. Uh, they should have included something. Unfortunately, they didn't. So, anyways, guys. So that's um, that's what I got to tell you about this. This thing is a beast. It is beautiful. It is everything, but there is some issues with it. For first, it has a lower battery than the S uh, than the S twenty. Uh, and this is the thing that kind of gets to me, and I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, it, it has a 4500 uh, mAh uh, battery to it. <sighs> About some time ago, some years ago, a lot of people, when you looked for, oh, what is the longest running phone in the smartphone phablet, as they used to call it, everyone knew the Note was the best one out there for that. Okay, so that was... Right off the bat, everybody said, well, the Note has the best battery ever. If you guys remember the Note 4, you could replace the battery. It was great. It was beautiful. Love that. Unfortunately, this one has less than the S20. Uh, I have no idea what the hell they were thinking. If you can see, oh, let me take this out of here so I could just show you. As you can see, guys, it is thicker, much thicker than the, the Note 10. Why couldn't they put another damn freaking battery in there? If anything, they could have evened out the camera. I don't know why they couldn't put a bigger battery in there. I have no damn clue. It makes absolutely no sense. And I have put it through the runs already. And to be honest, if you're going to play games, like this is not every day, so but you're going to play games and put it through the test, within four to five hours, this thing is dead. Okay, normally it would probably last you a day. I don't like that. I wish it could last you longer than that. I really thought that they would at least do something with that. Another thing that I absolutely cannot believe is the fact that it's still a curved display, even though many of us already voiced our opinions. I think the S20 should be a curved display. I don't think the Note should be curved. It should be squared off, you know, just line and that's it and flat. I don't understand. You're using a freaking S Pen. Why on earth would they not make it straight? 
that they curve it. And you're going to have a lot of accidental, you know, I have orangutan hands and really big, uh, you know, very thick fingers. So maybe that's why, I don't know. I'm hitting a lot of the buttons accidentally, which ticks me off. It happened the same thing on the Note 10. Now, another thing that I'm going to say, one thing Note 10 is better than this, and I can't believe I'm saying this, is the Wi-Fi. I can't believe I'm saying this. I mean, granted, this is 5G. You're probably not going to give a damn but if you're using Unlimited like I am. But if you're not using Unlimited and you're counting on Wi-Fi, what I noticed is around the house, I always with my Note 10, I was connected no matter where I went on my Wi-Fi. With this thing, when I use the Wi-Fi and put it through the test, I mean, I'm going to do a why what's wrong with it video. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. But that's I could not believe the Wi-Fi was so bad on this that when I just go to the next room, okay, it said that it's going to connect when it finds a better connection. And I'm like, in the next room. So something's not right here with the Wi-Fi. Not exactly sure. My wife has the same one. She has a bronze version, right? And same thing. Same exact thing. You go to the next room, it kind of disconnects, and that's what happens. So this isn't just a, like a, a bad batch or whatnot. This is another batch as well. There's something going on. Maybe through an update, they're going to fix that. But as of now, very disappointing uh, in, in that uh, respect. And, you know, with, because of the curved screen, it just makes it so hard to find, uh, you know, screen protectors for it. And they, and they do go on, and they do come off. And luckily, T-Mobile, uh, the company that I, uh, you know, signed up with... Uh, you know, to, to get my service. They said uh, they had an insurance policy where you pay a deductible of a hundred if something breaks, but their uh, screen protectors are a lifetime guarantee or whatever. And you know, every time something happens, they'll just replace it for me and put it, put in a new one. But God, I wish it was straight. I really do. I don't know why they do this. I have no idea why on earth they would pull that off and, and do something so stupid like that. Let me shut that off. I hate those alerts. Uh, it's just, um, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I think these are the things that really tick me off about this phone. And, you know, things that I love about the phone is it, it does do 8K. Now, mind you guys, you're not going to, you need a beefed up computer to operate something like that. It's not something you're just going to drag and drop. If you have a big computer, you know, a good computer that can handle it like I do, I showed you guys how to build one. Um, you guys will be fine. Uh, but it's not something, and it, and it looks really cool in detail, it looks very movie like. But it kind of sucks, and I'll tell you why. The fact that you can't record with the live focus unless it's HD still? Really? You couldn't go even to 2K? It's, it's, it's just so it's frustrating. Okay, so do I recommend it? Well, let me tell you guys something. The fact that I got this as a buy one, get one, the, fa the fact that I'm on Jump on T-Mobile, so it's, you know, every time a new one comes out, we just exchange it, and then we have buy one, get one, and we sell that uh, uh, the one that we could keep, the other Note 10. So we're making a little bit of the money back, so we're basically getting this for, what, like, uh, you know, uh, very cheap, uh, what, 600-something dollars for two phones. That would make it worth it, definitely. But to buy it at $1,300, if you're going from the Note 10, if you're going from the Note, uh, what is it, Note 8, then yeah, go ahead and make that up, uh, upgrade. You guys will love it and you'll like it. And you know, it is what it is in terms of pricing. But if you're, you know, you're trying to see if, uh, you know, your Note 10, if they didn't have any exchange, even Samsung, I think has some kind of an exchange thing. Uh, but if they didn't have it or whatever, and you had to pay $1,300, guys, do not upgrade to this right now. Wait till the next generation and see what it is. We're upgrading every year because we're on the jump uh, plan. So I'm not caring about that. But for everybody else around the world who are not doing that, it's not worth the upgrade to pay $1,300. Okay. Unless you, even if you sell the phone for 600 bucks, if you're not getting two phones, you know, out of it, I just, you know, I mean, iPhones are expensive. This is expensive. And I still don't see why it's worth so much money on both ends on the iPhones, on, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, you know, the note series. The thing is, it's really, really cool with the with the S Pen now. It has like almost real time. I could say almost real time because I had some very few lag moments, but it was. It's like just drawing on a you know on a on a piece of paper. So it's really, really great. I love the way it catches on on Bluetooth. I love the way that uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it in a video. How to attach your earbuds uh, to you know, to so you have like microphones that you can use uh, you know with your earbuds and hook it up to that, or even hook up a USB mic to this and actually uh, you know uh, 
record in real time. So that's pretty interesting, pretty cool. I do love the fact that even in the Galaxy Store now, they have a lot of things that are going to be cool, uh, you know, that are coming out for it, including being able to play. Well, this is going to be on all Android uh, market games, uh, uh, you know, but uh, it's basically more made for the Ultra, for the Note, uh, Note uh, series, whatever, Ultra. Uh, which is to play Xbox uh, games on it, Xbox One games, to stream it into your system. We're going to do a video on that, uh, too, so definitely stay tuned uh, for that once it comes out, I believe, in September 15. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. What do you think of this thing? I don't think it's worth the upgrade, unless you're getting that buy one, get one, and you're on jump and whatever. Then go ahead and do it. Then it's totally worth it. Are you upset about the curved display? I absolutely hate it. I can't tell you how much I hate it. I know everybody probably have different, uh, you know, probably are going to have different opinions about this, and that's fine. I want to hear it down below. Like I said, this is the people's channel. We're not a paid-for reviewer. I buy every type of gear with my own money. I work three jobs to make this happen because I opened this channel because I was sick and tired of being fooled by those paid-for reviewers. This is why I opened the people's channel. This is our channel. I want to hear down below in the forum section, what they call the comment section, what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you hate about the phone? What do you like about the phone? The camera quality, I'm going to do a whole review on that. The video, I'm going to do a review. I can tell you it comes out really nice. The pictures are great. Uh, the you know 110 megapixels or whatever the hell this thing goes on believe me you're not gonna the pictures that are gonna actually come good is when you're gonna do it on 20 megapixels 110 you're, i'm gonna do a whole test for you guys on it i'm gonna show you guys i think it said 110 or whatever megapixels i'll show you guys all about it now a lot of uh there's also disappointment that i forgot that people were saying they were disappointed that it only had 50 and not like the s20 which had 100 guys oh my god if you only saw it it's a digital zoom Digital zooms are crap, okay? You're not going to get anything usable on a digital zoom at 100. You're not going to get anything, you know, digital zoom that's going to be good on 50. I guarantee you, you're not going to use it. It's going to look like pixelated crap that came out. And like when I first got my very first uh, digital camera by Polaroid, it came out, I think, in 1998 or 1999. And it would make the most horrible pictures. Even that looked better than, uh, than uh, uh, you know, taking pictures at about 50 uh, megapixels. Uh, I'm sorry, 50 uh, uh, optical, uh, sorry, not optical, uh, digital zoom. It's digital zoom, guys. It's not optical zoom. So you guys got to keep that in mind. So it doesn't matter. I think they did a very smart thing. To be honest, I think they should have kept it on 20 or 30. But whatever, give people that option. If you guys want to see something from far away and, you know, just for the sake of that or whatever, and you could try to make it out then yeah, that's good to have some kind of telescope <laughs> on your phone. But uh, in terms of pictures and usability, guys, you guys are going to see this is absolute crap. I'm telling you right now. So uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Share it with everybody you know. Let our community grow so people have to sift through less junk to get to the truth. And then they can make better informed decisions. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.